Hello, hello, I'm Tabitha Jones, and welcome to our actually final episode of the Proverbs 5. Tab's Pink Elephant. This is our final episode, and it's a good one, because I have a very wonderful, wonderful uh, friend here with me. And before I get started on that, let's talk a little bit about the elephants that are in the room, you know, in Tab's Pink Elephant. I hear people say, why do you call it Tab's Pink Elephant? Because there's usually an elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about. We see the elephant in the room, but again, nobody wants to talk about the elephant. Well, we're going to be talking and getting the elephant out of the room always. Different episodes, different topics. Regardless, the elephant will be getting out. Okay, so... I have today with me Tanya. Um, Tanya um, is definitely someone I think we all need to hear from. T not only is Tanya a friend, but Tanya also uh, is a counselor, um, has a degree in counseling. Um, I think she can come from another angle. You know, sometimes when I come in on an angle, I don't want it to be one-sided. You know, we got to see other angles. You know, it's not just about tab even though this is Tab's Pink Elephant. Um, it's still not just always about Tab. Um, that's what I've been told. So um, I, want to, I want to talk to you today, Tanya. Thank you so much for, for, for coming on. Um, I know you and I also have a lot of uh, couch, hmm, I would say couch, I'm not going to say intimacy, we're girlfriends, so we talk a lot. We Absolutely. talk a lot. We talk a lot. And so I think the couch is the best place for us to Absolutely. start talking. Um, now, Tanya, I'm going to be on, I'm getting ready to share something with you right now that, um, you probably don't even know. Um, <laughs> and when you initially were going through, um, your Proverbs 5 moment mm -hmm. where you were being affected by a Proverbs 5, uh, in your life, in your relationship, I'm going to be honest with you, Tanya, I kind of... At the time, because I was in a different place, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know if I truly understood where you were coming from, mm -hmm. and I, I made light of it a little bit. I did, I made light of it, and I, I heard what you were, I, I heard what you were saying. Um, I actually saw the pain when you would come over to my my house. I saw the pain, I saw the tears, I saw that. But there was a part of me that was like, well, you know, is it really that bad? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, later it slapped me in the face. Mm -hmm. It's one of those walk a mile in my shoes. I had a walk a mile in my shoes moment mm -hmm. and I walked in the shoes. Absolutely. And so I start doing a hindsight with you. Mm -hmm. And I said, whoa, this woman, she is truly, she has dealt with some things that the average person would have folded. The average woman would have folded and I'm being and I'm being honest with you but I see that as women we have we have to put ourselves in a place where we we ourselves have to understand that you know our identity and our value is not in our past mm -hmm. it's not in what has been done to us because we can make it we can wear that thing on our sleeve but Absolutely. We, don't want, we don't want to wear it so with that said I want to, I want you to, um, I'm not going to focus on the man. Mm -hmm. You know, I told, I, we could, we could do that. Yeah. We could bash because you, you were in a bad situation. Oh yeah. You were in a bad situation, <clears throat> but talk to the viewers and talk to us about how you healed, how you got out of that. Even you can go, go clinical on me. I know, or you can go personal <laughs> because you do have a degree in counseling. Right, right. So you could, you could do go either way, but regardless Give, give, give the women, give the women some advice on how to pull out of that Proverbs 5 situation, if you don't mind. Being, to be honest with you, it was my children. Because I had to be strong for them. In that moment with everything that was going on, and as women, we see things happen. You know, we know what's going to come up, so we prepare. 
Yes. And so what I had to do was prepare my kids, but I had to prepare myself. And in doing that, that helped me yes. to heal. Okay. okay? Um, I didn't, and you know me, um, I don't talk to a whole lot of people about my life. Um, I talk a lot. Just don't talk to a lot of people about my life. Right. And so right. when you said you took made light of it, I get that because most people did um, because they didn't think it was the way that it was I no idea. because I didn't I show that didn't. to the world. You didn't. You didn't. And um, so when I came, became vulnerable and had my moment to say, you know what, I have to do this. That was the second part of me healing is me not holding everything in like I had been doing, not making my life look great yeah. like I had been doing. Yeah. I had to let it out. Yeah. And once I started to let it out to the few people that I did, then I could, I really could hear myself, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and, and figure out what I needed to do. When you say let that out, when you say let, let it out, let it like, tell us what that was, because I think sometimes because I know it's someone you're helping right now. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I, since I've been doing Proverbs 5, I've been hearing from more women. More women. Tiny, this is not, this is just not something one or two women are dealing with. No, absolutely not. No. It goes on and we're seeing that same thing where the woman is just like, oh, I'm good. Yeah. You know, life is great mm -hmm. and they're dying on the mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so my household was in shambles in moments. And, but the, the letting out part is me speaking about it, yeah. me talking about my hurt, yeah. me talking about my pain, which for me was huge Yeah, yeah because, because the only really... person I shared those painful things with was him, but he was wow. the person who was hurting me. Wow. And so when I started to share them with other people, you know, my select few people, I started to hear myself. It wasn't what they told me because honestly, the two people that I talked to the most couldn't relate to what I was going through. Yeah. So yeah, I wasn't talking yeah. to them to get advice. Right, right. I think I was mainly in a therapeutic moment talking to them to hear myself yeah. and to hear what I was really feeling. Sure, um, sure. But you know, we can lay in our bed and sit on our couch and think a whole lot about a whole lot of things. Yeah. But I think once I started to hear myself say these things out loud, that started to help me heal and realize what I had to do and what I hadn't done for so many years that I, I told you, I wish I had mm -hmm. at times. So, so you're saying this was going on for years and it was getting worse and worse and worse. Absolutely. Because yes. Now I definitely didn't know that. Yes. You and him would come oh, yeah. in our presence, and I never, I didn't know you yeah. seemed fine to me. I know. Wow. I seemed fine to everybody, parents, family, everybody. Yeah. So when it fell apart and I finally spoke about it, everybody was, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. That was what was going on. But I, but my healing was my kids and me really opening up and speaking about my hurt and my pain. And that's the way I worked through it. Okay. Because I knew okay. then okay. what I was not going to tolerate anymore. You know, sometimes we get to that breaking point <laughs> and you know, I feel like God just allowed me to go through those things because I needed to learn yeah. and I needed to understand. And I don't think I would have done it before. I think that was my moment. So, okay. Okay. That's good. Like you said, it was a learning experience, a learning point. And you couldn't hang out there. You know, you couldn't hang out there. But I think for a while, you probably was oh, like, what, I'm gonna, what am I going to do? Um, oh, for a couple of years there, I was kind of, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you when it hit me. When I knew, when I knew, oh, this we this is another ball game now. This girl is over in an area that, that we, we have to, we have to address. Is when you told me. Tanya, that you thought you were going to have to go take some medication. Yeah. And I said, what? Meds? It's like that? I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating. I was barely surviving at work. Um, it was rough. It was rough because it was like my life had crumbled. You know, like now everybody can see, you know, and my life had crumbled and... It was rough. And and this is because of a man. Yes. 
Now, I, I'm, I'm saying it that way, and I know it sounds like, oh, it's because of a man, but we got to, as women, we got to rethink some things about our lives mm -hmm. and how so much gathers around the men mm -hmm. in our lives mm -hmm. or a man, whether it be brothers, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, anybody, husbands, boyfriends or whatever. It's just like, it just is gathering around that. And it's like, wait, 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 wait. And, um, let, let me say this. We're going to be doing, um, me and Aunt Linda are going to be doing a segment um, called The Great Reveal. And it's going to be about who we, who are we as women. And I asked you that question. I asked you that question a little while ago. Mm -hmm. I said, Tanya, who are you? Mm -hmm. And what did you say to me? I don't know. You know what you said to me? That's exactly right. You were yeah. like, I'm so-and-so's mom. I'm... So and so's wife. Right. I'm like, I said, Tanya, that's not who you are. You right. Said, that's what I said. I was like, that's what I was thinking in my head. But I'm like, but that's not who I am, though. And then I, saw, I looked at you and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Right. That's what I'm saying. We, if that question is asked to a lot, a lot of people, women, and maybe men too, mm -hmm. who, who are you? I wonder what they would say. Right. When that question was asked to me, I said, I don't know how to answer that. I really don't know how to answer that question. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it'll kind of take you somewhere. Right. It'll kind of take you somewhere. Now, let me ask you this. Now, I know in your particular situation, it was very harsh because, you know, your former husband is, is, has passed away. Yes. And you had to plan funeral you had to plan everything mm -hmm. you after what you were going through you were going through this and at the same time you had to do all this planning you had to pull everything together mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I remember that time I think I was numb I think it was numb for you because mm -hmm. I thought is this woman really doing this is she I'm being serious is this woman really doing this? I, I, I think I was just like floating around like, what is going on? Yeah. She really is doing this, making phone calls, calling me, calling. I need you to, can you do this? Blah, 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 blah. Can you? And I'm like, Tanya. Yeah. Wow. I know it had to be God that got you through that. It had to be. Absolutely. You can't tell me. You probably wasn't reading a self-help book. It probably oh, no. Wasn't, yeah. I don't have time to read. <laughs> Sorry. I would love to. I love to read, but I don't have time. Right. And I didn't have any time. And when that happened, as you know, it was sudden. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, I had to pull it all together. Um, because at the end of the day, I was still his wife. And, you know, those my children are still his children. And what I wasn't going to do, regardless of what had happened with us, was let that last memory for my children be anything other than a good one. That's good. So I, I made sure I did what I was supposed to do, even if other people didn't do what they were supposed mm -hmm. to do. That was that was all I told myself is I got to do what I'm supposed to do, even if nobody else does what they're supposed to do. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. You know, um, at, there was some time there where um, I was looking at you and... Um, I, I saw the smile, but I saw the hurt, and, and, and God gave me something, and I, I, I actually told it to you. I, I want to say, where was I, where were we at? Do you remember exactly where we were at when I said to you, what I, when I gave you Haggai 2.9, I said, God is telling me, um, Haggai 2.9 for you, the glory of the latter house shall be greater mm, than of the former, said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will give peace, said the Lord of hosts. It's like God was telling me that your latter years were going to be better than your former. And I said that to you. Yes. I said, Tanya, your latter years are going to be better than your former. And um, you you heard me. But, I heard you, but, yeah. But, you know, yeah. you're still a processing mm -hmm. at that time. And and that's all I wanted to happen. Yeah. And so um, with that said, I see it now. It's yes. like going on with you. Right. You know, we you literally your latter years are better than your former. Absolutely. Um, 
Absolutely. You know, you being, you know, married. Now, how right. long have you been married now? Um, March was a year. Okay. Yeah. March so. was a year. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, and um, you know, I was, I was saying to you that I believe uh, you're in such a place right now because you, you are a hard worker. I know you are a social worker by trade. You're a counselor. You're a mother. You're a wife. You're, I mean, you do, uh, you cook I'm, on. I'm the cheerleader for my son. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. All of that. You're doing yes. all of it. You cook uh, Sunday dinners on Wednesday <laughs> nights. Um, so, you know, I'm like, mm, good gracious, girl. You know, you're like doing all this. You're just laying it out. You're trying to be, you know, everything that you know you need to be for your family and your Absolutely. kids. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, you've been a superwoman. But I know. It's just who I am. Yeah, but there's a Tanya in there that I think we still are going to see more yeah. of. I do. I hope so. I believe it's a Tanya that we're going to see more of. Um, from a viewpoint of what you have to offer. What you have to offer. And I think, um, I know that that's going to happen. What's up, Ollie? <laughs> uh, I know that that's going to happen. Um, so, with that said, tell me, mm, where do you see yourself the direction you're going in um i know you have children i know your wife but you tell me where you see yourself going after you've been through all hell and back tell me where oh that's huge um outside of the kids outside of the wife you know The thing that I want to see myself doing in the near future is going back to school, getting my PhD, um, being able to speak to other women, other people, not necessarily a motivational speaker type, but just being able to help others because I have a story, yes, you, you know, do. and it's not just this, you know, I, there right. are other things in my right. life that have right. happened that have, um, that I have testimony for. So I think those things will help other folks as well. Mm-hmm. So that's what I would like to see myself beyond my kids and beyond being a wife. That's what yeah. I like to see yeah. myself doing. Because, because I think as women, we, we engross ourselves around those things so much absolutely. that we lose who we are. Yeah, absolutely. And we don't even realize that it's happened. I always say it's a slow walk. It's just a slow walk, you know? And um, the next thing we wake up and we're like, wow, I did have dreams. Mm-hmm. I did have hopes. I had some things I wanted to do mm-hmm. and it didn't. But I think you're, you're on the road there, you know, because you got to get your kids, you know, AJ and you got to get all that out. But right. it's just, you know, it'll, it'll, it's coming. Right. But I want to let you know, I see it in you. I see greatness in you. I see um, you going the extra mile. For Tanya. Yeah. You do it for everybody, everybody else. else. You do I it do. for everybody else. I'm talking about for you. Right. I'm talking Absolutely. about for you and I think it's time. Yeah. I really, really do think it's time. And all the hurting women out there, like you said, you have a story. And your story goes back much further. Yes. You know, because, yes. you know, you and I are from the same hometown. Right. You know, and um, we talk about those things and we talk about how um, if we want to go back to the beginning... It, it, it shapes our future. Absolutely. It shapes our present, right. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It really does. Everything that we go through shapes who we are and what we do and how we respond to things. So, absolutely. Yeah, and Definitely. how we respond to things. That's exactly right. So, I know um, at the lowest point of your life, at the darkest point of your life, um, I'm just glad that, you know, I could be there. I, I will tell you one, one thing I will say. I feel like I wasn't there as much as I could have been. Now that it's hindsight, you got to remember when I started going through some of the same things you were going through, it was a hindsight moment. Mm-hmm. And I started thinking about you thinking, oh man, I wasn't there for her like I should have been, you know, because now I'm feeling like I'm in the gutter, mm-hmm. you know, of course not there now, right. but it's a, it was a hindsight. It right. definitely was a hindsight Absolutely. moment. And so, um. You and I have walked this together. We, you know what we, don't you think it's, you know what I, hold it now. I'm thinking about something. We're friends, 
we're walking through something very similar together at the same time. Mm. Like I said, there is a, there's a need. Mm -hmm. There's a need. And we're not the only ones, mm -mm. Tanya. Mm -mm. Absolutely but not. But I, I will say, when we women find out first who we are, I think we won't walk into a lot of things that we're walking into. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. I, I was getting ready to say something I better not say. <laughs> I better not say it. But we won't walk into a lot of the things that, Absolutely. that we walked into, mm -hmm. you know. And I know, um, let me ask you a question. I know you've had a chance to talk to other women. Tell me some of the things you're hearing and, and seeing when, when it comes to women. Some of the same things that I went through. And it's and and they are doing the same things I did, you know. Because even though you know something's not right, or you know something's going on, mm -hmm. you're still pushing forward, and right. you're not doing what you need to do to either get out of the situation, help to figure it out, you know, whatever that is. So, what's your testimony? So, tell tell us, tell me, what's your testimony? How you got lay it out, fine. I mean, really. How I got you, 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 you have a testimony. You, you are, don't make light of it. Like you came from here to here. And, and I know you just walked us through, but if you in, I mean, a couple of words, a couple of sentences, women, what? Look in the camera and say, women, if I can share one thing with you, this is what I want to share. Mm -hmm. Women, if I could share one thing with you, I would say, take care of yourself. Be true to yourself. Figure out who you are, what you need in your life. That's what I had to do. I had to figure out who I was outside of everything else in that moment. So that I could walk through and get past those other moments. It hurt for years. It hurt for a long time. Yeah. But I had to figure out what I needed to do to move forward in order to heal and to be able to help myself, help my children, and help others. Well, that's good. That's good right there. And but I will tell you something else I did. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Um, when all of these things were starting to happen, um... And just, I was getting little bits and pieces of things. And so I started kind of putting the puzzle together. And it wasn't a good puzzle. I started journaling. Journaling for me, because I didn't, in that wow. moment. okay. My moment started before people knew. Okay. So by the time I spoke about it, my moment, it, that was really like the bottom, was a year prior to. Okay, okay. So because I wasn't talking to anybody about it, I journaled about it. I literally wrote in my journal exactly how I was feeling, yes. what I was thinking, yes. all the nice, good words, all the bad words. I did all of that so that I could go back and read that too. And I, I didn't think about that when you asked me what helped me heal. That did. I still have that book. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I still go back sometimes and I read it. Yeah. Mm. And Jesus, I've come a long way. Oh my gosh! You go back and read it some now. Yeah. Is that the former you? You saw the former you. You see the former you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's that's awesome. Um, the journaling thing that's good. I I, I didn't um. That is some great, because I'm sure there were some words that were coming on that page that might have not been so nice. No. Were you ever mad at God? Yes. You were? Yes. Did you write it? You did write it in there. Mm. Wow, Tanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're a blessing. You're a blessing to the body. You're a blessing to women. You're a blessing to people. Everyday living. Um, and I thank you for, for sharing your time. I really do. I want to just, I want to just thank you so much. And, um, Tanya, 
I, I really, I believe we're going to talk some more. I think we're just at the beginning because, you know, you're going to be going to school, getting your PhD. You're going to be finding out more things. You're going to be getting on here talking to other women. I believe you're going to be talking to other women. We as women have to pass it on. Absolutely. That's what Tab's Pink Elephant is going to do. We are going to pass it on. Women supporting women. And that's what we need. That's what we do not have enough of. It's women supporting other women. We just do not. Yeah. Um, and that's definitely what we need. And I think, uh, sp- particularly minority women, I'm, I'm yeah. just sorry. Oh, I, I absolutely. Talk, I have to talk about, you know, who I am. I'm yeah. not pulling out trying to be, you know, this or that. I'm just saying that's what Tab's Pink Elephant is. Um, that's what the goal is. Um, it's just a platform. Right. And you being on this platform is already pushing us somewhere else as women. And so, again, thank you so much. And I, I again, I want to thank every listener. I want to thank every viewer because share this. Share this with other women. Don't think that this is just a podcast out there that millions of people are doing. We have to go somewhere where we have not gone before. And that's what we're about to do. And that's what we've started to do. And we're going to see more of it. So thank you again, Tab's Pink Elephant. Thank you. We thank all of you for viewing. We thank all of you for listening. Make sure you pass this on and also make sure you keep in touch. Thank you, Tanya. You're welcome. And thank you guys for listening. Thank you.